All right, there you guys. We're back at Yogi Instinct. Now, last time we got another big box from Plastic Generation, and again we have another box. Now, you might be wondering why did I get those so many Beyblades last time? When they were not even mint, right? I mean, you think I'm a collector, but that was not for collecting, guys. That was for playing. Yep, you've got it right. I mean, you can't just go ahead all in all and, you know, just keep collecting them. You gotta have to play with them too. That's why this box that I have right now is for collecting. That one back was just for, you know, playing. Let's get back into it and see what do we all got in there and see how amazing it looks there. Oh right oh my god this is a huge box like look at my little knife on there it looks pretty big I don't know how to even open this thing maybe push it all with the force oh wait a second <laughs> that just opened so smoothly come on man what am I even thinking of I'm gonna keep everything a secret I mean you can see pretty much what's inside but I'm gonna put that aside for now and I'm gonna pick everything one by one first up we have again that weird launcher that we saw last time and let's see if we get any bit more bit chips in there no this is one is completely empty let's just put it away because to be honest it's not even worth it I mean it's a good launcher though I'm gonna throw all the launchers in front of you and see how many we get this time because there are pretty bunch of them and pretty bunch of winders too so let's have a look all of these guys oh my god and this you know orange one this just has my heart on it like look at the thing it's different in shape and the color is just hard winning isn't it like look at it. it's so different from the other ones it's so big you can hold it in your hands properly it's the amazing launcher look in there now we do have those normal ones also you know you know like a purple and black and all that but in the left spin launcher is just crazy look at that gray one Wow, got a black transparent black on the left spin as well. Wow, it's pretty crazy, huh? Ain't got standard long winders in there for Dragoon and standard winders. Let's put everything away. All right, let's check the base first. We've got Drasil S again. We have second of this now. Probably I'm gonna put the other one for sale if I don't like it. There's too much of Drasil. But this one is so mint, you can see the balls are even shiny on there. Next up, we have Drasil V. Looks awesome, right? It's also another mint Beyblade. And you can see the balls shiny on there. That means this has been taken complete care of. The Magnet Force inside it, it's an amazing bay. And now we have Dragoon Storm Silver Edition. Now this was one of the rare Beyblades guys because this is one of those you know special WBBA event limited items and look at that rubber tip it's not you know it's like completely mining flat it's gonna give you such an attack pattern you wouldn't even have imagined it's very limited edition Beyblade to be honest like it's the complete silver edition so probably the second prize bay on there and it looks so awesome and stunning with that silver dragon head right and the red stickers above it wow next up we have metal dronza now last time we had it didn't have much stickers but this one completely mint i think the you know spin gear maybe is a different color although but it's all mint that is what it's counting now it looks so awesome there's not even a bit of sticker away from it again we have Dronzer V. I think I have three to four of these now. Probably I'm gonna use, you know, put one for sale so that people can enjoy it because it's one of the most amazing Beyblades ever. Like you can just simply reverse the base and change from stamina to attack, whichever way you wanna go about it. And this one is like very, very mint condition. So probably you can have fun, you know, with this guy too. It looks awesome and stunning. Mostly on the balance tip I would prefer though, but again, who do we kid? It's Dronzer V guys, Dronzer V, remember? It was back in amazing Beyblade back then, just Dunga had it pretty beaten by. Anyways, we got Trigal, 
and triangle is you know so looking just perfect might be missing a couple of eye stickers on there but the base is what it counts and look at it it's such in prime condition that the you know base spring I think that's working perfectly fine on there so let me show you how it works you push it or push it up inside it's like a jumping base but when you twist the base it gets stuck and it reduces its height now whenever you get a strong hit on there and it just clicks that's what it's gonna do it's gonna jump right on the top of your Beyblade and take whole advantage of that and it looks awesome doesn't it wow next up another Grifolion these you know were like pretty common back then because Grifolion was the best smash attack type Beyblade you could find and that base you know pulling out almost looks like wall frame doesn't it and it's also trans you know parent inside you can see from upside down the bottom part are just clearly visible next up we have Viborg now this is one of the most mint Viborg I could ever get because it's in such a condition that you know it's not been used for a long time so the spring is a little bit tighter but let me try to show you what actually it can do you see that little tip there it can go in it can go out depending on the hit that you get on it it's an amazing Beyblade again it's pretty chunky too next up we have Volbard remember when we unboxed this you know just in a single video to get past the tournament and then we couldn't we get just this like for in the lot you know it's a pretty expensive thing because it's got bearing on there and that to a rubber version I mean rubber bearing is just wow I mean, you know, pretty, pretty expensive. Next up, we have Flash Leopard 2. Now, this is a Beyblade I've been waiting for. Because Flash Leopard 2 is the most thickest attack ring ever in Plastic Generation. I mean, you know, something after Trigger V2. But it's really thick, guys. And it has an amazing, crazy stamina. Plus, it's got that, you know, Fang Fen... Uh, sorry, uh, you know, Geese Fafner shape. That it derived from it's gonna hit really hard if it's gonna use for and I'm probably thinking of a combo already next up I don't even know what this is it's probably a light Beyblade like a fake one and it says racer on it it's like the fake base you can see and I don't know it's look like it's got a light in the middle of it and it's probably broken from one of the sides too yeah I think it's broken anyways next up we have Spin Dronzer and this is the ultimate teal forest green edition looks crazy right with the red stickers on there I mean you can just twist it and you know it goes full attack like whole flat as you can see the step goes inside right there it's like a very old version right now maybe that's why the base isn't moving very well but I'll just do some oiling on there and it'll probably work again Spin Dronzer guys looks perfect forest green version all right next up we have tripeo remember that guy with tripeo that little you know i'm tall basketball player who had this oh my god that guy told you know taught ray a lesson to be honest and i hope it's gonna do the same thing to trigger s if i battle it because it's too huge like i mean look at it the size is just comparatively amazing fully complete in my hands and still not going through another Drasil V you saw that so not much to talk about another Seaborg now Seaborg is an amazing Beyblade because it's the prettiest you know of looking one and it's really huge plus it's got the flat attack type base which really helps it I mean I don't know it's probably not a very good combo if you use it stuff now we have Dronzer Flame and this is the red blue version I mean just look at this guy I think the stickers are a bit off right now but for the eyes but we'll take care of that and it's almost comes with Zeta yep you remember Zeta that's derived from here attack stamina and defense all together in there that's where Zeta came from in the first place Next up, we have Bound Attacker. Again, one of the older generation Beyblades. Not much used competitive wise, 
but a good one to have. It looks awesome too. Like, look at it. Yep, looks awesome. Anyways, we got another Drusil F or Drusil Fortress. Now, this is the Beyblade I've been waiting to get. I didn't even have this in my collection. It says Max on almost every side. And then some stickers are here and there. And I think it's everything in the box. I'm going to probably use that again and put some ball bearings on all these four corners so that it becomes a really heavy base. Plus it's, you know, free spinning. So that's another thing. And it looks really dope. I mean, that's the standard shape of the seal. The way it is supposed to look like. Dope, right? Wow. I can't believe I finally have the seal fan. Or sorry, the seal fortress. Now there we have Flash Leopard 1. Alright, it's quite reminiscent of the fact that, you know, this looks uh, a little bit different because of the two blades protruding, but I'm sure that hits really hard. And to be honest, uh, it's got a very simple base. I'm not really even sure how this was able to keep up Dragoon, a V at that point of time, to be honest, because it's not that strong. Anyway, we got Trigger Storm, oh sorry, Trigger Slash. Right? I mean, what is the Beyblade lot if we don't get Trigger? What is the Beyblade lot if we don't get Trigger? Because we have to. One of our best guys, right? The best in you know, attack and best in stamina. Trigger Slash. Killing it like a Viv Bill in it. Anyways, another Seaborg that we have on here. Pretty much nothing more to go ahead again with. But that white attack ring and the weight disc we have on it anyways this is more important we've got metal trigger now metal trigger is something we've been waiting to get it is waiting to get from the g revolution yes this is a g revolution beyblade and it's amazingly heavy you know why i'll tell you exactly why if you see that right that's the heavy metal core that is running there's no engine gear in it but it is an end you know um, engine gear system baby i was running really by that time because of just the heavy metal core that is sitting right in the center and this is amazingly heavy and it's in its own tip by its own because of that all metal inside there you may even put a ball bearing in there and make it even heavier yep that was allowed at the point of beyblade Plastic Generation or G Revolution. Uh, yeah, there you go. Let me put that back. Although it doesn't have the stickers right now, they're all in the box. I'm gonna put them back on and it'll be completely stickered once again. Seller sent all the stickers that is on there for Metal Trigger. And I'm gonna make sure that I put all of them on there to make it work out. This is a Beyblade that I've been having for like, wanted to have for such a long time. That you know you won't even get. So this completes my trigger collection in another way that it could be. Metal trigger. I had so many bitches with this guy, but not the Beyblade actually. But well, finally we have it, right? And now the star of the old lot. We've got black dronza. There you go. A Beyblade that was you know worth it. I mean, Kai has always wanted this Beyblade for such a long time. It's basically Dronzer plain, to be honest, but just a black color. And this black color is more rare than anything else out there. It comes in a special set, and, you know, everyone wants it. The reason being, it's Black Dronzer. The only Beyblade that could win it all over. The overpowering babies that could suck all the Beyblades with these in there and become the most strongest of them all. Kai's Black Dronza. Every single Beyblader knows what a Black Dronza is. All right, we have this guy too. First of all, I didn't know what this was. Then after moving those side bars, I understood. This is something I can use in the tournament, right? To keep a track of the point the person is on. And it's gonna definitely help in the next you know tag team tournament we've got because it will be definitely you know a lot to keep 
keep in track with the score and this is gonna help for sure because of those points coming in at a seven pointed battle is a nine pointed battle my god I, this goes up to five points i guess yeah this goes to five so this is gonna help a lot to be honest looks amazing right like you just switch these and make points for the guys awesome perfect let me just show you a closer look at how awesome this looks one side is a Dronzer and one's a Dragoon. And we have another rare Beyblade. Orichalcum, Arrow, Bite, Shadow Arrow Calcum. And these things, you know, are a little bit chipped off for the paint. But they look still perfect. Like, look at Arrow. It's a disc I've been wanting to have because the shape of there. And the little protrusions. And the shape is just reminiscent of like anything royal. Plus the purple color. Who doesn't love purple? I mean, I do. <laughs> Look at the stars. How many stars do you get? One, two, three, four. But wait, what? You got five stars on there? That's just pretty, pretty weird, guys. I mean, I haven't seen five stars in the world for any Beyblade like yet. Wow. Is that even possible? I mean, that's just kind of amazing isn't it and this is bite so it's basically the plastic tip it, you know, if it had been a, like a moving free spinning rotating ball in there wouldn't it even awesome but i'm not sure how it's going to work out i hope it has less friction like the friction driver itself but those protrusions are probably going to get a rough edge whenever it spins like that it doesn't have very strong teeth as well to be honest but it has like decent teeth let me show you uh let me do a little bit of zoom in action in there right as you can see it's got pretty decent teeth not very amazing but pretty decent all right anyways this was it guys this was the amazing most mint beyblade lot you could ever get and i scored it i mean this is what we do right we keep something for playing alone and we keep something for collection itself if you really like the video, don't stop to subscribe. And if you're you know, already subscribed, make sure you hit the like button and do comment on it. Because if you do that, that makes you a generous person. And who doesn't want to be that? Till then, Yogi Stick out.